My name is Roger Burley and I'm president of Oceanside Conservation Trust and I'm here with another board member, Erno Bonabacher. And we are two of 13 board members of this land trust, uh, which has interests in uh, almost all the islands in western Casco Bay. And today we're on Cliff Island, and this is our an third day of our annual monitoring work. Uh, what monitoring means is that we check out the properties in which we hold interest, either in fee or in conservation easement, to see if the terms and conditions of the uh, property ownership and conservation easements are being met. And we're standing on a piece of property called uh, Bracket Griffin's Cove. And this is a three-quarter acre piece of property which uh, we, we, Oceanside, have had an interest in since the year 2000, I think. And uh, this is a unique piece of property because uh, it has a tidal uh, chunk of water uh, that comes, uh, that abuts it on one side, and that is uh, very, very handy for the uh, socializing uh, and swimming and sunning that happens here for two or three months of the uh, summer season. And then for six months of the year, uh, fishermen are allowed to haul up and store their boats and other gear on this particular property and that is written into the conservation easement and I believe it is unique in the state of Maine uh, that, this, that this is allowed and encouraged. And Erno, how about you? You're a little more objective because you don't live on Cliff Island. Well, this is a, um, it's always an opportunity to reacquaint myself with these properties and it certainly looks good to me. There's, uh, Spring is, spring is just coming and so uh, the growth hasn't come back too much and I don't see anything from here. I'd like to walk around a little bit and see if there are any we will do that. New, new evidence of invasive plants that we might be concerned with. I see some honeysuckle right over there. And uh, is this multiflora rose? Duly, no. 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 This is uh, Rosa rugosa, which is technically an invasive, but we've, we're considering it not so. And you, clearly you're, you're keeping it in check, which yes, is a good indeed. thing. So um, I think a quick walk around and we'll be finished. Okay. So now we're on a different portion of Cliff Island and we're standing on a 13 acre piece of property which has just within the last year been bought for conservation purposes uh, by what they call an angel buyer. An angel buyer is someone who will step in between a private owner and a future uh, nonprofit conservation destination and to make it a simpler process to deal with the whoever the seller was and whatever complications the seller brought to the process. So this is a spot, 13 acres, a good deal of it is wetland, which can never be developed and will never be developed. But where we're standing now, uh, could have had two homes on it. And now it will never have two homes built on it. And there's really nothing wrong with having a couple of houses built here, except that this has been a long treasured piece of property for community use and uh, many many gatherings have been held here over time and um, the effort now has culminated in keeping it available to the community forever. Not just the Cliff Island community but the, the greater public uh, but of course 99 percent of the use will be um, by Cliff Islanders. And so there's 1,100 feet of beach frontage here, of beach, which is rare in Maine. It is certainly a very usable uh, sandy beach. And um, there's very little of that in Maine. It will be available forever. There'll be no concern about it being shut off. No, no, no trespassing signs will happen here. So when we uh, came out 
here to Cliff Island today. Uh, we started by uh, circumnavigating the island. Uh, almost all of the properties that we, uh, in fact, all of the properties that we have uh, conservation interest in um, are on the water or very close to the water's edge. And so it really uh, it makes sense to check out the water side of those properties uh, as well as check them out from the land side. And so when we circumnavigated uh, at the beginning, we went around the North Point and then went across the beach and around what we call the Belknap Bluffs and then down along the southeasterly shore and saw what we call the Gardner Parcel. So we took in from the water four properties, uh, observing them to see if there's anything that we could uh, notice uh, from, from the water. Uh, and then we uh, uh, landed here and looked at a number of the properties. Other properties that we couldn't so closely see from the water we from the land side. So it's the same thing. Uh, most every property on Cliff Island either has water, is waterfront or has a water view. And that's one of the unique properties of, <coughs> that we all enjoy here. Properties and facets of them. And so it's all part of our monitoring experiences to, to observe and appreciate uh, how they serve the community, how they look, uh, to see if there's anything uh, amiss uh, that we should be concerned about. And so that's what we've been up to today on our uh, Oceanside Conservation Trust monitoring on Cliff Island.